All right, so we're talking about Beetle Blocks, which is a programming language that looks like Scratch. To make 3D objects or just practice your coding. Yeah, it's a real world application for Scratch coding. What did we design with Beetle Blocks? We made bowls and vases to practice and learn more about coding. BeetleBlocks.com, then you click Run Beetle Blocks, it takes you to the Beetle Blocks editor. We've got a lot of code here. Can you tell me a little bit about what's going on with this code? When you push space, it's starting your diameter in 20 and then it's saying start lines. We made a variable called length and we set it to zero and then we set the amount of change to one so when we do this it adds one every time and then we repeated 60 times the rotation of z by 60 and you move length by one. That makes the base. Let's just see what that looks like. I'm going to zoom out and when we press space It creates the base of the bowl. Tell me about this next bit of code. Then when you repeat 120 times rotation by 60, it's making the bowl go up and making a more bowl shaped. Which code makes it go up? The change absolute Z by 0.5. What are these two down here? It changes the amount of curve to make it give that perfect bowl shape. Let's see what that looks like then. It'll reset when we press spacebar. All right, that looks pretty good. Oh, that looks kind of weird though. What's the deal with that part? That's the extruding line, and it's like where it stopped. You need one more lap around to make it not have that extra line. So that it doesn't have this bump, this bump that's sticking out. It's gonna have a nice flat edge on the rim of the bowl. That's okay. what our next repeat is, to make the last lap around it. Now we have a nice rim that doesn't have any bumps sticking out. It looks really nice.